So uh, the next thing to do, put it back together. Right, so we've got this all reassembled. It looks really, really nice, to be honest. I'm really happy how this has gone back together. Um, I'm becoming more and more disappointed that I don't have the top cover because I think that would have really finished it off, actually. So yes, given that we don't have that top cover, it's a bit of a shame, really. Um, I would have called it completely restored if I'd managed to, uh, if that had been complete with it. Now, unfortunately, I've done a bit of Googling around it and it seems there's really not much of information on this server on the internet at all. Uh, which probably means it was probably pretty rare and chances of finding a top cover are probably pretty slim So it'll just have to stay as it is, but at least it's all up and running So on the front here, I've replaced the two um, locks here uh, This one is for the power switch. It's just a mechanical thing It just uh, moves a bit of metal over the switch to prevent you pushing it uh, So that is now changed and they are of course the all on the same key. So that all matches. So that's quite nice um, I've installed a um, a disc in here. This is a nine gig um, SCA drive, um, so that just plugs straight into there. Uh, it is a bit of a shame. Uh, that's the only caddy I have, so I can't populate any of the other drives. But uh, there we are. And the other good news is the floppy drive and the CD-ROM are both working perfectly.
so as you can see I've got a Windows NT server version 4 um, I, I'll just point out I'm actually using a, an old serial mouse with a ball in it and um, yeah the mouse is a bit a bit flaky so it's a bit frustrating um, it reminds you of going back to this area where you didn't have optical mice and all this sort of stuff so yeah it's, a, it's certainly bringing back a lot of memories um, installing this and loading it up um, back in the day I used to do a lot of uh, administration on Windows NT server, um, Windows 2000 server, 2003, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it brings back a lot of memories, uh, especially with IIS, with the, uh, the web server and all that sort of stuff. So this is all installed. Um, we can see now we've got two CPUs. So yes, we should have um, Internet Explorer and IIS. Oh, come on, mouse. Come on. Um, so we've got uh, the old Internet Explorer. What version is this? Uh, version 2, 1996. Wow, it's amazing how old all this stuff actually is. Uh, now we should... Yeah, mm, the uh, web server is up and running on the default page. Online documentation, all this stuff. Yeah, I remember a lot of all this. So in all, I'm really happy of what I've managed to achieve here. So um, I'm going to be popping this onto eBay, um, hopefully make a little bit of money back on it. I just enjoy doing this just for the hell of it, really. Um, in terms of what things cost, um, the actual machine was, I think it was £53. That was including delivery. Um, the hard disk was i think 12 pounds including delivery um what else have i bought um, the key locks they were th four pounds each uh, biggest expense after buying the machine though was uh, buying that second cpu i think that was about 35 if i recall um, so in all it's cost me about 110 quid uh, right the uh, last thing to do is um, reinstall a new name badge uh, now this um, I made myself um, this came from an idea from the 8-bit guy um, who suggested um, printing um, a logo onto black onto clear um, and then stick that onto some aluminium foil um, which has sticky on the back um, and you can make your own name badges to replace a lot of the stuff and yeah, that's worked really, really well. I just got the logo off uh, off the internet, uh, loaded it into my um, label printer, and yeah, that's come out pretty well. So we'll stick that on there, and we'll call it a winner. So uh, thanks very much to my patrons who help support to this channel. If you want to become a patron, um, links will be in the video description and up in the top corner there. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.